Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to welcome Jesus who comes to us in this Eucharist. Let us humbly acknowledge our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Stir up our hearts, O Lord, to make ready the paths of your only begotten Son, that through his coming we may be found worthy to serve you with minds made pure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Our reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. I am the Lord your God who grabs your right hand. It is I who say to you, fear not, I will help you. Fear not, O worm Jacob, O maggot Israel. 
I will help you, says the Lord. Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. I will make of you a trashing sledge, sharp, new, and double-edged, to thresh the mountains and crush them, to make the hills like chaff. When you winnow them, the wind shall carry them off, and the storm shall scatter them. But you shall rejoice in the Lord, and glory in the Holy One of Israel. The afflicted and the needy seek water in vain, their tongues are parched with thirst. I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open up rivers and the bare heights, and fountains in the broad valleys. I will turn the desert into a marshland, and the dry ground into springs of water. I will plant in the desert the cedar, acacia, myrtle, and olive. I will set in the wasteland of cypress, together with the plane tree and the pine, that all may see and know, observe, and understand. That the hand of the Lord has done this, the Holy One of Israel has created it. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is gracious and merciful, is slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. I will extol you, O my God and King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. The Lord is good of all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. Let them make known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. Peace stand. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a Savior. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, Amen, I say to you, among those born of women, there has been none greater than John the Baptist. Yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent are taking it by force. All the prophets and the law prophesied up to the time of John. 
And if you are willing to accept it, He is Elijah, the one who is to come. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, in our first reading today, the Lord, through the prophet Isaiah, uses an interesting image to describe the people of Israel. The Lord said that the people of Israel are like worms and maggots. Ang bayan ng Israel ay parang uod. By calling the people of Israel worms and maggots, the Lord is making them realize how small and weak they are. They are insignificant. They are nothing at all. Sino ba ang pumapansin sa mga uod? Yung mga uod na sa mga gilid-gilid na sa ilalim ng lupa. And yet, even though the people of Israel are like maggots and worms, the Lord promises to do great things for them. The Lord promises to make them a great nation. In our gospel today, Jesus honors John the Baptist. And Jesus praised no one more than he praised John the Baptist. Jesus says in our gospel today, among those born of women, there has been none greater than John the Baptist. Now, who is John the Baptist to be honored by Jesus in such a great way? John the Baptist was insignificant. He was not part of the upper class, of the influential and powerful class of the Jewish society. In fact, he could be considered as an outcast. He was living in the desert, not in the city. And yet, Jesus honors him Jesus announces to all how great John the Baptist was. No one born of earth on earth is greater than John the Baptist. But Jesus also says, yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. Yes, John the Baptist is great, but those who belong to God's kingdom, we, the baptized, who belong to God's family, are greater than John. Who are we to be praised by Jesus? Sino ba tayo para parangalan at dakilain ni Jesus? My dear brothers and sisters, our readings today make us realize that we may be small and insignificant, we may be weak and frail, we may be nothing at all, but in the eyes of God, we are great. And that is the reason why we have Advent and Christmas. 
That is what Advent and Christmas make us realize. Advent and Christmas tell us, you are great in the eyes of God. For if you were not, would He have sent His Son to save you? Kung hindi ka dakila sa mata ng Diyos, kung hindi ka mahalaga sa Diyos, at kung hindi ka mahal ng Diyos, ipapadala ba niya yung kanyang anak, bugtong na anak, para iligtas ka? The mere fact that we are celebrating Christmas is because we are great in the eyes of God. We are worth the life of His beloved Son. That is why, my dear brothers and sisters, let us not belittle ourselves or others. Let us not look down on ourselves and others. Wag na wag nating mamaliitin ang ating kapwa. Wag na wag nating mamaliitin ang ating sarili. Dahil sa mata ng Diyos, lahat tayo dakila, lahat tayo mahalaga. May our Advent journey open our eyes to see our own greatness and the greatness of our brothers and sisters and live by that greatness, by that dignity, by that honor given to us by God each day. Please stand. The Lord Jesus praised John the Baptist for bringing the people to God by preaching repentance. In prayer, let us intercede for the people of the world and their needs. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the leaders of the church may continue to call people to turn away from sinful ways. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That men and women who are entrusted with authority may make justice flourish in our time. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the poor and the downhearted may hear the good news of salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may hold and the what is good and avoid every form of evil. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may see the salvation of God in his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who requested our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Father, in your love, listen to our prayers and make us like John the Baptist, fearless and humble witnesses of your Son's teaching throughout the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
lift of the fine work of human hands will become our spiritual weakness and the spirit will be sacrificed. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For He assumed that His first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when He comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest. We who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, 
and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Juan Diego and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us now pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and to hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.